So you all have dealt with the idea of uh, the third rail in each of your fields, like where would you not go? And would love to hear a story or an example of a time when you said, I'm not going to go there. Um, I'm not going to play God. Have, has any one of you had a moment like that? <laughs> we're looking at you, George. Well, I, I don't think we're in any danger of, of playing a major deity, but, but we could certainly do, there is a line which, which we don't cross. Uh, there, there are some things which I don't even discuss um, until many years later when someone else thinks of the same idea. An example of that was uh, personalized weapon, uh, biological weapons, where you make a weapon that is specific for a particular person. And I, I kept that a secret that I didn't tell anybody uh, for about a decade. And then somebody else who I happen to know thought of it independently and was planning on publishing it in The Atlantic. Um, and I said, do you really want to do this? I mean, you know, this is, this is enabling for no, for no particular purpose. And, he, and it was framed in terms of Barack Obama being the target. And I just thought it was, uh, so that's an example of a line that I didn't cross and wouldn't, uh, but uh, it did, it was published, so. Should the decision not to publish uh, something that in the hands of the wrong people could wreak devastation be a matter for government regulation. Most, most ideas I do share uh, because I do think that other people are thinking about it. Just yeah. the, they're a rare one every now and then. Seems yeah. like it, it could buy us an extra 10 years if I shut up. Uh, <laughs> but I think we, it's because we talk about these ideas so far in advance, uh, the ones that we think that we can protect, uh, that we do, ethics can stay ahead of technology, not just catch up, but stay ahead. So, so we, 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 this, the world of science fiction writers and Hollywood can, can come up with scenarios that are well outside of our technical uh, capabilities, but are inside our abilities to have a discussion among uh, the entire population. And by introducing it to millions of, of television or movie watchers, for example, or book readers, uh, magazine readers, that, that is how we start the discussion before it's technically possible. And there are many of these things. That we've been worrying about designer babies since before the first IVF in 1978. That's an example of something where we were, the ethics was, discussion was out ahead of the technology.